Richard, I think they're trying to overshadow your research, Dr. Jones's research, my work, and, and, and many others that are out there taking action. And the fact that polls show globally, not just in the U.S., but more and more statistically, people are not buying the official fable that was the pretext for the wars, the domestic takeover, the naked body scanners, all of it. But uh, I think you've got this Rockefeller-funded, Fox News owner-funded mosque. I don't think the imam's bad, but he's clearly a globalist, goes to the Davos forums. You've got this kind of, I guess, Christian Zionist-type church out in Florida uh, that is wanting to burn the Koran. And whereas I support the free speech rights and the property rights of the mosque builders, and I support this preacher's right to the First Amendment to burn the Koran, I don't like it, but I, I, I have to support his right. Uh, bottom line, I see the media hyping this to create a clash of civilizations ahead of an Iran strike. I mean, this is perfect timing to kind of re-invoke 9-11 and Muslims and Christians at each other's throats. And so that's why it's so important that you're doing this and other people are doing this right now. And they've got the TV ad running uh, very successfully in New York with the victims' families calling for a new investigation and talking about Building 7. So it's great to see real patriots who love truth on the offensive as a counteroffensive. Do you agree that all this mosque stuff and burn the Koran stuff looks pretty suspicious right now? Oh, yeah. But uh, in addition, what, what we're doing is we're having a press conference for that reason right in front of uh, the new Building 7 at the corner of Vesti and Greenwich Streets. A press conference tomorrow, Saturday at 2 p.m. Uh, in order to, uh, and we're, we're getting this press advisory out today to, to uh, I don't know, 100 uh, media outlets inside of New York, so we can uh, have them come and listen to the family members decry this, uh, uh, this, this non-issue, uh, so we can get to the real issue. Which is the explosive demolition of that's the right the surviving the, of the surviving firefighters, police, medical workers, the families, surviving victims. They've already been out and had press conferences, and I'm glad you're having another one saying, "Look, we don't want to hear about the mosque. We want the health care we've been denied, and we want a new investigation." Yes, about Building Seven and the Twin Towers controlled demolition. I mean, this is the story of the century, don't you think? It, it is, Alex, some enterprising journalist could break this story and get it published and take all the credit for all the work we've been doing for nine years. Well, that's right. The media really doesn't want the families and the victims and the, and the, and the families' victims. Uh, the, 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 I mean, they don't want them to be seen out there. They want to use the pain of 9-11 as the pretext for more war and control, and they want to speak for the families of the victims. But we, we, so that's why it's important people actually hear the families themselves. And those families will be there at the press conference calling upon 1,270 architects and engineers uh, to investigate the evidence which points to the real cause of the death of their family members. So we're happy to be uh, te supportive technically to that pursuit of, of, of justice, uh, truth. And that's tomorrow in front of the new Building 7, uh, Larry Silverstein's building, uh, at 2 o'clock. That's right. Now, we're going to go to break in a moment, come back with a final segment with Richard Gage. But, Richard, get get back into this new evidence. I mean, you guys have been able to really triple confirm all this and why this press conference yesterday was so important. Well, these these uh, microspheres, uh, the iron microspheres are, are endemic in all of the World Trade Center dust. And, in fact, USGS uh, found them and documented them first and other environmental firms like R.J. Lee. These, uh, these previously molten iron microspheres comprise 6% of the dust, in some cases, found on top of the Deutsche Bank building, uh, everywhere, really. And, and by the way, they say, uh, our supporters of the official story will say, oh, that's just uh, from the cleanup equipment and the welding and so forth. No. These, these are uh, up on top of the high-rises. They're collected, even some samples, uh, 10 minutes on the Brooklyn Bridge. A sample was collected uh, within 10 minutes of the collapse of the, of the towers. Uh, so, no, these are not polluted, and, and it's documented very well by official sources. These have the evidence in them, the chemical evidence of thermite, uh, including uh, aluminum, iron, oxygen, silica, silica uh, other, uh, other very, very clear uh, chemical fingerprint of thermite.
All right, Richard Gage, stay there. Final segment straight ahead, then a news blitz and your phone calls. Why is 9-11 truth so important? It is the pretext for the wars, the destruction of the Bill of Rights and Constitution. It is the pretext for the dismantling of our republic. And I've got the head of Homeland Security, Napolitano, saying another 9-11 is coming. So they're out there hyping that, and they've got to take your rights, take your freedoms, and enslave you to keep you safe from the Muslims. Meanwhile, they do everything they can to stir up the Muslims by invading their countries, lying about WMDs. And the Pentagon knows this is stirring them up. You, the citizen of this nation, you are the target. The West is the target of the New World Order. And that's why it's so exciting what Richard Gage is doing. Uh, Richard, uh, more dealing with the press conference at the National Press Club, I would imagine the people that really carried out these attacks are starting to really get concerned. I hope so. Um, they should be. Uh, Americans are waking up. We're, we're, uh, we, it's a whole different story now, thanks to you, your listeners who are out there uh, in the streets raising uh, awareness on the 11th of every month. Uh, the, the people are giving away DVDs. They're, they're, people, the people who are accepting these or are being confronted uh, uh, with, with this uh, information in the streets are more receptive. There is so much greater receptivity in, in, in this year compared to five years ago. Uh, it, it, it's an awakening. It's just really quite incredible, and we're delighted to have been uh, to be part of that because. Uh, we can be used. The architects and engineers from the Truth have produced a lot of material, research by others like Dr. Stephen Jones and uh, uh, Niels Harrett and, and many others who have done the work well before us. You, of course, from the very beginning and even before. But uh, Dr. David Ray Griffin, who came along, got his message on, and books out there on the radio, which, I, which was what kind of woke me up about four years ago. I, I knew nothing. I was a Reagan Republican. I, I, I was a regular, you know, architect, and all of a sudden I'm, I'm, I'm being hit over the head with a two-by-four that uh, reality is different. It's not the same. I, I, I'm not living in the same country all of a sudden that I was, because if 9-11 was some sort of an inside operation, that changed everything. And I realized I had to, when I looked around, where are the architects and engineers who are, who are talking about this? And there were almost none. And uh, now we've got 1,280 of them on our, on, on our petition, and we're uh, many more that have become aware that won't for the, uh, unfortunate reasons, like uh, they don't want to be discriminated against or lose their job or something, they won't sign our petition. But uh, it, 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 the millions of, of, of Americans are, are waking up to this. Well, Richard, and we salute your courage, and we salute the other architects and engineers and physicists and the peer-reviewed journals for their courage. And, you know, it's simple. You're faced with a lie this big. If you buy into it, if you submit to this lie, then they'll tell you DU isn't bad for you when they know it's killing people in mass. They'll body scan you with radiation and say they're not recording the images and get caught lying. Yeah, I mean, the point is, clearly, this isn't freedom that's being foisted on us, and it has nothing to do with keeping us safe from terrorists. This is what's happened to every other third world country where its own military industrial complex takes it over in the name of keeping people safe. It's just a 21st century, more sophisticated version of it. And free humanity is challenging this lie on every front. And I hope folks will go to the press conference tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern time, there at Building 7, the new Building 7 at Ground Zero, and be part of that and support the families of the victims and the firefighters and police and others that are going to be there with you. I look forward to having you on next week to give us a quick report on the aftermath of this weekend, as well as Luke Radowski and others from New York and other vigils and demonstrations that are being held, not just in the United States in every major city, but worldwide. Richard Gage, thank you so much for joining us. Fire out quickly the website for architects and engineers 911 Truth. Yes, it's AE911truth.org. And look into the sky uh, in New York City for, a, for a something special on the evening. All of right, great job.